away we go in the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup. This is Bryanston School on the left of our picture in yellow and blue and Dulwich College on the right. Looks like Dulwich have had an absolute flyer. Yeah, absolutely. Really kind of the bite of those catches just going in, isn't it? Just quicker to cover. My goodness, in sort of 10 strokes, they've almost taken the length off Bryanston. Looks like they might have some troubles in the Bryanston crew. Can't see from here, but looks like we've got some problems in the bowels of the Bryanston crew. A couple of people looking a little bit short. Uh, not sure what's happened there. Meanwhile, well, Dulwich are giving them nothing. Yeah, I mean, I think maybe Bryanston a little bit close to the booms. That feels uncomfortable. That can cause tension. Whether you hit them or not, it can cause tension. Uh, it can put the cops off their calls. But yeah, I mean, Dulwich have got are on a mission here. Uh, really dominant display already. Absolutely different class. Very impressive. So that was the start. We're going to come and pick the crews up as they come through the middle of the course. The really commanding start from Dulwich, which they've obviously held on to and capitalised here as we're just past halfway. You can see the backs of the Dulwich crew there looking in a nice position. You can look at your opposition from this situation and know that you've got control of the race. Yeah, they've had a good season. They won junior eights at Marlow um, and they also did well at schools head of the river. Finished fifth in J18 eights. Uh, Wallingford Regatta won the B final championship eights at Nat Schools uh, Regatta. So, you know, they've had a strong season and, you know, it's, it's a strong squad they have over there. love to listen to the sound of the blades as an eight moves past it you get the sound of power and rhythm just for that it's a confidence builder for them they know there's some ferocious talent in this event so for them it's a run out down the track to get rid of some of those nerves to think about can they put down a performance they can then build on into the next race they're coached by jack stoddart he's the coach of the the first eight they are under Tristan McLaughlin, the head of rowing at Dulwich, and Phil Greenaway is the director of sport and master in charge of rowing. They have a really strong coaching team, and, and through the year they make sure that all of the coaches have, have time working with uh, you know, the boys across the squads. Um, really strong, really strong crew. Yeah, young crew, got some experience. Cox, Joe English, is only 17, but he coxed the first day to Henley last year. He's also a cross-country national level runner and a first-team hockey player, and that's just the Cox. So there's some serious athletes here in the Dulwich College crew and that experience from last year and the young Cox will have helped them uh, to be confident as they go down the course here. So now they can uh, relax a little bit, watching Bryanston behind them continue to try to attack. Bryanston, a lot of the crew there are just have said they're so excited to be at Henley. It's a highlight for them. They've watched it on the TV. They took up rowing relatively recently, some perhaps just a couple of years. Um, they feel they've come a long way to get this point. They're, they're coached by Richard Bolter, hugely experienced coach, used to be the juniors, GB juniors coach. Um, they've been working towards getting here. Lots of disruption to their exams over the last few years with, of course, COVID, which, you know, all of these schoolboys have been through. So it means a lot to be part of this regatta. Yep, so Dulwich now approaching the last five or six strokes of the course, and, um, well, they'll be quite pleased with that outing. Bryanston, tricky start, and try to attack all the way down the course, just as you'd expect, with a real thrust uh, of their legs and a push through to the finish line for Bryanston. Um, not much more they could do, though. Really classy Dulwich crew they came up against, and Dulwich crossing the line now. Bryanston taking their applause, leaving everything out there on the track. Credit to them, young crew. Um, what an experience for them to be here on the first day of our first six-day Henley Regatta and crossing the line to conclude that heat of the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup. It's Dulwich College beating Bryanston School uh, on Tuesday at Henley.